Interesting TCM and acupuncture. Part 18. The 12 regular meridians and 8 extraordinary meridians and their use in clinical treatment. The greater yang bladder meridian of the foot, the lesser yin meridian, kidney meridian of the foot, the terminal yin pericardium meridian of the hand. Content. Seven, the greater yang bladder meridian, name, circulation points and treatment. Eight, lesser kidney, lesser yin kidney meridian of the foot, name, circulation, illness, points and treatment. Nine, the terminal yin pericardian meridian of the hand, name, circulation, diseases, points and treatment. The greater yang bladder meridian, name, the hands and feet, yin and yang, and organ and viscera make up the name. The greater yang bladder meridian of the foot rises from the corner of the eyes, connects to the head, back, waist, buttocks, legs, feet, and so on. Most of it is located on the back of the head, the back of the leg. It is tai yang and belongs to the bladder. Its collateral is the kidney. It meets the heart. It attaches to the brain, and its special feature is that it has less chi and much blood. Greater yang bladder meridian of the foot circulation. The spiritual pivot meridians and channels chapter says, the greater yang bladder meridian of the foot rises from the corner of the eye and ascends to the forehead to meet the peak. It has a branch which follows the peak and ends at the corner of the upper ear. It has a branch which ascends the peak and connects to the brain. And it also emerges from the lower nape. It follows the shoulder and shoulder blade and passes along the spine to the waist. It enters the backbone and follows it. Its collateral is the kidney. It belongs to the bladder. It has another branch which follows the waist, goes along the spine, enters the buttocks, and then enters the pit of the knee. Another branch follows the shoulder blade and enters left and right into it. Then it enters the spine, passes the buttocks, and follows along to meet with the pit of the knee. Then it passes along the heel interior, exiting at the outer heel, following the jingu point, and ending at the outer end of the small toe. Explanation of the above text. This meridian leaves from the Jingming acupoint at the corner of the eye. It passes up the forehead and ascends on both left and right of the Du meridian, passing the crown of the head at the Baihui point. Then it directly travels along the head to the occipital foramen where it enters the brain. Then it returns to the nape, passing on right and left. It has a branch which enters the shoulder blades and runs parallel to the spine at a distance of 1.5 twin. It then enters the waist and the spine at the two sides of the muscles. Then it enters the body cavity where it enters the kidneys and connects to the bladder. There's another branch which passes the shoulder blade interior, then passes next to the spine at, dist at a distance of three twin. Moving down past the hinge of the femoral head, most of the channel is on the back of the head, the back and the lower limbs. The greater yang bladder meridian of the foot illnesses. Original text of meridian syndrome of the spiritual pivot meridians and vessel chapter. When it changes pathogenically, there's a penetrating pain in the head. The eyes seem to be lost. The nape is injured. The back is sore. The waist feels like it's broken. It's not possible to bend at the crotch. The knee and interior nods up. The heel seems to crack. These symptoms are called ankle joy. The main illness associated with this tendon meridian are piles, malaria, insanity, mental illness, head, fontanelle, and nape pain yellow eyes, lacrimation of the eyes, bloody nose, nape pain, back pain, waist pain, tailbone pain, knee pain, heel pain, and all pain of the leg, as well as the inability to use the little toe. Explanation of the above text. When this meridian experiences pathological change, it expresses in the following illnesses, head pain, loss of clarity of the eyes, pulling pain on the nape of the neck, spine and back pain, a feeling though the waist has been rendered, inability to bend at the hip joint, a feeling as though the knee crease has formed a knot, a feeling as though the calf muscles have been split, as well as various heel illnesses and problems with reversal of blood leading to paralysis or flaccidity, numbness and soreness. This meridian is used to treat problems associated with sinews such as piles, malaria, madness, mental illness, fontanelle and nape pain, yellowing of the sclera, lacrimation of the eyes, stuffy nose, much snivel with blood, neck, waist, back, knee, calf, and leg pain of all kinds, as well as inability to use the little toe. 
channel points. In total, there are 67 points, one on, on each side of the body for a total of 134 points. Among them, 49 are on the head, face, back, and waist, and 18 are on the lower limbs and feet. The first point is Jingming. The final point is Zhiyin. The points are Jingming, Zhanzhu, Meichong, Chucha, Wuchu, Chengguang, Tongtian, Luo Chui, Yuzhen, Dazu, Fangman, Feishu, Zhuiyin Shu, Xinshu, Dushu, Geshu, Gansu, Danshu, Pishu, Weishu, Sanjiao Shu, Shenshu, Qihai Shu, Da Chang Shu, Guanyuan Shu, Xiao Chang Shu, Pang Guang Shu, Zhong Lu Shu, Bai Huan Shu, Shang Liao, Ce Liao, Zhong Liao, Xia Liao, Hui Yin, Cheng Fu, Yin Men, Fu Xi, Wei Yang, Wei Zhong, Fu Fen, Po Hu, Gao Huang, Shen Tang, Yi Xi, Ge Guan, Hun Men, Yang Gang, Yi She, Wei Chang, Huang Men, Zhi Shi, Dao Huang, Zhi Bian, He Yang, Cheng Jin, Cheng Shen, Fei Chuang, Fu Yang, Kun Lun, Pu Chan, Shen Mai, Jin Men, Jing Gu, Xu Gu, Zhu Tong, Zhu Tong Gu, and Zhi Yin. The Greater Yang Bladder Meridian of Meridian Treatment. The points of the bladder meridian can be used to treat inability to urinate, mental problems, breathing issues, circulation issues, digestion illnesses, and so on. For instance, epilepsy, headache, eye illness, nose illness, inability to urinate, urination discomfort, and lower leg pain. The greater young bladder meridian of the foot connects the head, back, waist, thighs, lower legs, and foot. It connects to the entire body and is very long meridian. As a result, when pathogenic change occurs, it can affect the entire body in great ways. The head area includes headache, heavy head, tired eyes, runny nose, bloody nose, stuffed nose. The face area includes skin turning dark, loss of continence, easily finding that the ears are deaf, lack of hearing, diminished hearing, not easy to hear. In the trunk, it can include illnesses of the shoulder, back, waist, thigh, etc., especially muscle pain. It's easy to experience illness of the hip joints, piles, and so on. It's easy to feel tired, lack of vitality, an overly developed appetite. Speaking of the seasons, in the winter, there's a larger tendency for the bladder meridian to become ill. If illness appears, it's often caused by something changing in the bladder meridian. This can often be seen if the acupoints of the channel are painful to the touch. The greater young bladder meridian of the foot controls the sinews and has no conflict with the liver's capacity to control the sinews. The liver controls the sinews, opens the eyes, and controls the sinews of the body. Outside of the sinews of the liver meridian, the greater yang meridian sinews are very extensive, and the greater yang belongs to water, while the liver belongs to wood. In regard to the five elements, water gives birth to the wood, so in terms of sinew illnesses, both the liver and bladder meridians may be used. The meridian points control sinew issues, which become illnesses such as piles, malaria, madness, mental issues, fontanelle, and nape pain, yellowing of the sclera, Lacrimation, stuffed nose, bloody nose, nape, back, and waist pain, knee pain, calf muscle and leg pain, and inability to move the little toe. Professor Yin, kidney meridian of the foot. Name. The hands and feet, yin and yang, and organ and viscera make up the name of the meridian. The greater yin, kidney meridian of the foot runs up the interior of the leg in the back quadrant. It then ascends to the abdomen and chest and passes on either side of the Ren meridian. It is lesser yang. It is lesser yin and belongs to the kidney. It connects to the large intestine and has less chi and much blood. Foot lesser yin kidney meridian circulation. The spiritual pivot meridians and vessel chapter says the lesser yin kidney meridian of the foot rises from under the small toe and runs on the base of the foot, emerging from under the bone and following the heel, entering the center of the foot, running up the inner leg exiting the knee crease, rising up the thigh, back, passing the lower spine to the kidney, connecting to the bladder. It has a branch which leaves the kidney and enters the liver, diaphragm, and lung. It passes the throat and goes to the base of the tongue. This branch also leaves the lung and connects to the heart and enters the brain center. Explanation of the above text. 
The meridian circulates from under the little toe and enters the center of the base of the foot at the Yongchuan acupoint. It exits the metatarsal and travels up the inner heel, entering the upper foot. Then it passes the upper leg to uh, up the inner leg to the inner knee, passing between the muscle and the membrane. Then it rises the leg and enters the base of the spine at the Changqiang point, connecting the spine and entering the kidney. It connects to the bladder and then it passes up to the front past the Zhongji point along the Ren meridian. Then it passes the abdomen center on either side of the Ren by 0.5 tun. It enters the chest center 2 tun from the center, finally arriving at the collar bone, bone at the Shu Fu point. The kidney is a straight meridian and rises up to the liver and diaphragm, entering the lung and rising in the throat, arriving at the root of the tongue on either side. The lung aspect has a branch which enters the lung and connects to the heart. Finally arriving in the brain center, it connects to the terminal yin pericardium meridian of the hand. The illnesses of the lesser yin kidney meridian of the foot. Original text of the meridian syndrome of the spiritual pivot meridians and vessels chapter. When it moves pathogenically, there will be hunger without desire to eat. The face will be black and ashen, coughing up blood. The throat gasps and there's a wish to rise. The eyes are unclear and nothing can be seen. The heart seems to be suspended. They will appear to be hungry. The chi will not be sufficient and will be easily scared. The heart will be fearful as if being captured. These symptoms are called bone jue or bone paralysis. The illnesses of the kidneys include heat in the mouth, dry tongue, throat inflammation with rising chi, throat dry and sore, heart vexation, heart pain, yellow gallbladder, intestine, spine and back pain, flaccidity and the desire to lie down, soles hot and painful. Explanation of the text. When disease occurs in this meridian, the sick person will feel hungry but not wish to eat. The face will become dark and ashen. They will cough blood, they'll make a gasping sound when breathing. Even though they have just sat down, they'll wish to rise. They will not be able to see things, the attention will not be focused. They will feel like they're hungry all the time. Their chi will be insufficient, they'll always seem afraid of something. The illnesses can include worry without ability to become calm, as if they're being grabbed by someone. This type of illness is called bone joy or bone flaccidity. They will also experience heat in the mouth with dry tongue, throat swelling, rebellious chi in the throat, throat dry and sore, disturbance of the mind, heart pain, jaundice, spine and leg pain, foot without strength and feeling cold, like to sleep, and heat on the soles of the foot. Points of the meridian. Total there are 27 points on each side for a total of 54. There are 10 points on the leg and 17 on the body. They include Yongchuan as the first point, and the last point is Shu Fu. The order of the points is Yongchuan, Yangu, Taishi, Da Zhong, Xue Chuan, Zhao Hai, Fu Liao, Jiao Xin, Zhu Bing, Yin Gu, Hong Gu, Da He, Qi Shui, Siman, Zhong Zhu, Huang Shu, Sang Chu, Shi Guan, Yin Du, Tong Gu, Yao Men, Bu Lang, Sheng Feng, Ling Xu, Shen Tang, Yu Zhong, and Shu Fu. Special points. Uh, there are eight special points. The five transfer points are Yongchuan, which is the Jingwell and Wood point, followed by Ran Gu, Tai Xi, Fu Liu, and Yin Gu. The Yuan source point is Tai Xi. It's also the Shu point of the channel. The collateral point is Da Zhong. The Xi cleft point is Shui Chuan on the main channel, and Zhu Bing on the Yinwei meridian, and Jiao Xin on the Yangwei meridian. The eight vessel connecting point is Zhao Hai for the Yin Chiao. Channel treatment. The meridian treats pregnancy related illnesses, problem with urination, edema, leaking stool, problem with menses and throat illnesses. It can also treat problems along the meridian. In regard to illnesses of the organs and viscera, it treats bedwetting, problems passing stool, edema, diarrhea, problems with menses, seminal emission, erectile dysfunction, and so on. It treats meridian illnesses such as ringing ears, deafness, throat, swelling pain, waist in the spine, stiffness, pain, pain of the inner knee, pain on the side of the legs, pain of the ankles, and pain of the heels. Special, special features of specific points. Yongchuan is used for acute cases. It treats loss of consciousness and fainting. Rangu treats pregnancy issues. Tai Shi boosts the kidney. Zhao Hai treats throat dryness and throat pain, insomnia and insanity.
Fulio treats excess sweat. Other points in the leg treat pregnancy issues and genital illnesses. The lower abdominal area points treat pregnancy issues, genital issues, large intestine and stomach illnesses. The upper abdominal area treats abdominal distension, diarrhea, constipation, and other stomach and intestine illnesses. The chest and abdomen area treat the chest and lungs. Nine, terminal yin pericardium meridian of the hand. Name, the hands and feet, yin and yang, and organs and viscera make up the name. The terminal yin pericardium meridian of the hand begins above the lesser yin kidney meridian of the foot in the chest center and exits the tantra point. It passes down the upper arm and its channel is close to the sides. It is in the interior aspect of the upper arm, the palm center or the finger center. It is the terminal yin meridian and is associated with the pericardium. Its collateral is the triple burner and it has much blood and less chi. Terminal yin pericardium meridian of the hand circulation. The spiritual pivot meridians and vessels text says, the heart controls the terminal yin pericardium meridian vessel. It rises from the chest center, belongs to the pericardium, descends to the diaphragm triple burner and has a branch which follows the chest sides, three twin below the axillary crease. Then it travels up to the crease, entering the upper arm and following between tai yin and shao yin. It enters the elbow and follows down the forearm, arriving between the two sinews and entering the center of the palm, then exiting on the end of the finger. There is a branch which leaves from the palm and travels to the tip of the little finger. Explanation of the above text. The meridian rises from the chest. It exits from the pericardium and follows down to the diaphragm. It connects to the triple burner, then it forms a branch which exits from the chest sides and travels three twin below the axilla. Then it travels up to the axilla where it enters the upper arm and travels between the hand greater yin and lesser yin meridians. It travels down to between the tendons of the forearm and enters the palm. Then it ends at the tip of the middle finger at Zhong Chong. It also has a branch to the ring finger where it connects with the Guan Chong point of the triple burner channel. Terminal yin pericardium meridian of the hand illnesses. The original text of the meridian syndromes of the spiritual pivot meridians and vessels chapter says, when it moves in pathogenic change, the palms become hot. The arms and elbows are twisted. The axilla is swollen. The chest sides seem full. The heart center experiences large palpitations. The face is red, the eyes are yellow, and the patient laughs without ceasing. Illnesses of the meridian are heart vexation, heart pain, and palm center pain. Explanation of the text. The meridian has illnesses which include palm center heat, front arm and elbow twisting pain, axillary swelling, chest fullness, heart palpitations, red face, yellowing of the sclera, laughing without stop. The meridian can treat illnesses of the vessel which include heart and chest vexation, heart pain, and palm heat. Points of the meridian. In total, there are nine points on each side for a total of 18. There is one point on the chest and eight on the interior of the hand. The first point is Tian Chi and the last point is Zhong Chong. The points in order are Tian Chi, Tian Chuan, Chu Zhe, Xi Men, Jian Shi, Nei Guan, Da Ling, Lao Gong, and Zhong Chong. There are eight special points. Five transfer points include Zhong, Zhong Chong, which is the Jing Well and Oh, sorry, it's special, special, eight, special eight categories of points. Uh, the five transfer points include Zhong Chong, which is the Jingwell and Wood point, followed by Lao Gong, Da Ling, Jian Shi, and Chu Zuo. The Yuan source point is Da Ling, and the Luo, uh, also the Shu transfer point, collateral point is Nei Guan, and also acts as the eight meridians meeting point for the Yin Wei channel. The Xi cleft point is Xi Men. The meridian treats heart, chest, stomach, and mental illnesses, as well as illnesses of the meridians. Chu Zuo, Xi Men, and Jian Shi, Nei Guan, and Da Ling treat heart, chest, and stomach illness. Lao Gong, Jian Shi, Zhong Chang, and Nei Guan treat mental illness. Nei Guan opens the triple burner and wakes up the brain, opening the orifices and moving the qi to stop pain. Tian Shi mainly treats chest and hypochondriac pain and cardiopulmonary disease, and attention should be paid to the angle and depth of acupuncture. Thank you for watching.